Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Colette Stinger. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Crime Stoppers is offering a reward of up to $1,700 for information on the vandals who destroyed the St. Stan's Fairgrounds and athletic facilities in Bay City. Now, police say sometime between April 24th and the 27th, Vandals broke into the press box, destroying the windows and everything in it, along with a food trailer. Damages are estimated between twenty dollars and $25,000. If you have any information to help solve this crime, you can call Bay County Crime Stoppers at 1-800-422-JAIL. All calls are anonymous. Well, Flint Mayor Sheldon Neely providing an update on the city's water system. He says that water quality in Flint is getting better every day and meets very high standards. We meet all expectations of EPA, our federal environmental protection agencies, and EGO, our state environmental protection groups. We continue to test uh, meeting the standard of quality under the lead copper rule, which is 15 parts per billion. We continuously test in a single digit, uh, whether it's six parts per billion or four parts per billion. We are testing, if not the best in the state of Michigan, is one of the best in the state of Michigan. Now, the mayor also thanked Ice Mountain brand water, which has donated bottled water to Flint residents for nearly seven years. He says water distribution centers will remain open through the end of the year. Organizers of the Juneteenth celebration in Saginaw are looking for entries for their Freedom Parade. The event is on Saturday, June 18th, and the procession needs businesses, nonprofits, dancers, drummers, classic cars, all of the things that make a parade. The entry fee is $25. It's part of a wide slate of events beginning with the Miss Juneteenth pageant on June 17th and culminating with a big celebration on June 19th, that's Sunday, at Morley Plaza in downtown Saginaw. Now here's Matthew with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Colette. We are seeing some rain around the area for this morning, largely off to the east over across the thumb at this point. So if you're farther west this morning, you're seeing dry weather and I would expect to stay dry for the rest of the daytime. Cold front moving through is bringing this rain, but behind that cold front, we break into sunshine for this afternoon and comfortably mild with highs in the lower 70s. We'll have a northwest wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour that stays pretty light as we go into the overnight with mostly clear skies too, but with all this added moisture from the rain. We are expecting some patchy fog as you're out the door Wednesday morning, but with sunshine Wednesday morning, that does mean the fog will lift pretty quickly. But then as we head into Wednesday afternoon, clouds do make a return out of our next round of showers. These will be a little more scattered and a little more light as they move through the area. We don't have as much moisture to work with this time around. That eventually comes to an end later on on Wednesday night. So if you have evening plans for Wednesday, just keep tabs on the radar. Know that some rain will be around the area. So for the rest of the rain for this Tuesday morning, expecting up to a half of an inch at the most in the eastern thumb. And then tomorrow's rain Wednesday evening will add around another tenth to two tenths of an inch of rain to the area. High temperatures around 73 for the Tri-Cities, 73 in Flint today, middle to upper 60s up in our northern counties. And on your seven day forecast, we continue with those 70s for the rest of the week with overnight lows in the 50s and a daily chance of showers Thursday and Friday too. But those chances are a little bit lower. There will still be plenty of dry time in between those showers. This is great weather for the lawn and for your garden. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.